One Zambia. One One Zambia. One the only ones who are going to liberate Zambia from neo-colonialism, from imperialism, are the people gathered here, yes. the patriotic yes. ones. Mm -hmm. yes. Munagagwa, president of Zimbabwe, you heard what he said. Paul Kagame, president of Rwanda, you heard what he said. Okay. They are speaking the same language that Africans were speaking about when we were fighting for independence. They are all saying, God was not foolish when he put copper here. God was not foolish when he put nickel here. God was not foolish when he put lithium here. He put these minerals for you, the African. Kagame has said, let African minerals remain for Africa. Yes. But that is what we said also in 2021. In our campaign, we said, let these minerals enrich Zambians. And then we have a president who goes to the United States of America at very at great cost to you, Zambians. I am an Akunu Maya minister. Hey. Alex Kagat, minister, make sure you sign. Huh? And the minister signs Ukulando Kutila the minerals of the 21st century. Mm. The minerals are to Pangama Bati. At Nomba, we are giving all these minerals the value chain to be managed by America. Now, Bane, Europe has declared that by 2030 they will not be using diesel, they will not be using petrol. In Yoto Kashabo, Amal train, they'll just be using battery power. And the battery power comes from your manganese, your copper, your nickel, your lithium. And these minerals are not in America. These minerals are not in Europe. These minerals are in sub Sahara Africa. And then you must assume you know, yes, Americans come, we say we send them minerals, we bring them battery to America for you to run your trains. If you want to share if you have holes in the ground, are you sure that you have a good leadership? No. Indonesia. Over the last ten years, Indonesia said no. If you want to use our minerals to run the EV value chain, the electric vehicle value chain. Come and do it in Indonesia. Mm. Indonesia today is on the upswing. The economy of Indonesia is increasing. Surely, why did you give us such a beautiful country? We don't want it, we want others to run it. Tell me, Vanessa, if we are to apologize for making sure that Uno Kukabwe, Umufundo, when I was Minister of Agriculture under Edgar Chagwalungu, fertilizer arrived in Tawe in April, May. Yes. Today, and after you play aqua, you can say you have At Nayaku Dubai, because I want to go and agree, they say Bapanga 3,000 megawatts of solar power. And even says, can you imagine, over 58 years, 58 years, we're only producing 3,200 megawatts. Because what he should be saying is that my predecessor, Edgar Chagwalungu, in seven years, he increased power generation in Zambia yeah. from 1,600 to 3,200. Yeah. Umuntu Uamano will always respect his history. Yeah. Umuntu Achishinka will always respect his history. You cannot always claim me. I'm the best IPS because I'm binoculars. Those are the ones who brought you where you are, Juan. You are president number seven, and yet you want to pretend like you're president number one. For the first time, for the first time. 
How can you increase solar energy by 3,000 megawatts when the grid itself cannot even take it? We tried ourselves. We tried. And to Adimwenokjet, you can't expand only using solar. You have to first use the best power. Hydropower must increase first. And I want to say to Agaile, my friend, if in the next five years you manage to even add the 3,000 solar power you're talking about, so he hasn't got five years. Three years. Three years. One Zambia. 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 One I landed on Wini. I let you know we cannot stop exporting Pandi, but what's fair to a lake of exports? Panolo Tatuete power. In the Aisa Flame, she have flap power that our Koka took work to our power. How can a person think like that? I to please Mavana, Chule, because I'm giving Kuliba neighbor. So I think that Waisa Sombra next year took over Shichina Kamid. But meanwhile, much the suffer. Have you ever seen a leader like that? But because you put pressure on him, I have hepatitis because of the 50 megawatts, the 150 megawatts at Mamba. It is not. That is just the addition. The truth of the matter is that he has reduced on exports. And now we want to tell him that please cancel exports of power totally yeah. until every Zambian has access to power. How can you go and finance Utuntemba to Akuna Media, Utuntemba to Akuboswana, and yet Utuntemba to Amucha to Chove to Refwa? Ama Saloon Tire Bomba, Ama Baba Shop Nave Sala, Ama Kusawe Utavale Bomba, and yet Okoretu Ala Power, Benavale Bomba 24 hours. So continue to pressurize him until he stops the export of power, because the Zambians must be fed. Can people eat roads? Huh? Can people eat roads? Today, Mumu Ipushe Mirupi. Mirupi, you have been Minister of Infrastructure now for one and a half years. Tell us which road you have started. Which road have you started? Only one. Only the road to community house. <laughs> but they were saying, can we eat roads? Why are they doing the road to community house if they don't eat roads? Let us review our constitution. 2016, we said, let us amend the constitution to increase the rights of Zambians. Okubawi ni never UPND referendum ya pona. Okubawi ni never PF referendum ya pasa. Why was that? Because by UPND were campaigning against that referendum. After elections, Abe Nebeka moved parliament. The one who started the issue, the debate about the constitutional amendments was Gary Combo. And Mwetwa. The two of them stood in parliament. We have to review this constitution. Edgar Lungu said, we'll do it. Let's review it. To watch the review constitution, what happened? Even if they cut no, that way for us, stop it. They voted against Bill Ted. Now, now we are starting the review of the constitution again. Why? Remember that there was a team that came, Muno Mukabwe, to come and ask you about the Public Order Act. We said, let us amend the Public Order Act. To a leader who sat at the meet, big meeting with MPs, we even brought facilitators from outside Zambia to come and assist. Our MPs were assuming that this is what we want. When Campiongo delivered the bill to parliament, what happened? 
just mwimbo wewe imino no but speaker we can't look at the public order amendment bill now before the constitution first let's amend the constitution and we listen nomba bena what have they done now they have come running tulepo amuchi amend public order act jack mwimbo have you amended the constitution <laughs> amend the constitution first because that's what you said to us yes. if a person is sincere if you are landu wishiku you also said doing the best inga oyebo muna umuno yokutira iwe imishishu kwete is very bad <laughs> By the way, you are on protest. You can't protest to let to let us come. Protest without coming. Yeah. I told you. Yeah, we are fasting. We are fasting. We are fasting. So, when I move up to that, Mrs. Shovet, I remember that we know I must not go wish you could not come back again. But you are not defending me. Hypocrite. I let the doctor. Ed Galungu is traveling a lot. And so on and so forth. In one and a half years, he has traveled more than Edgar Lungu in five years. And when I called him Marco Polo, now a lot of people say Marco Polo because he likes to travel. Huh? Then the minister, Wami Rupi, stands up and says, no, I mean, I will be in that way, going everywhere and the party after party. You know, if you are sincere with yourself, you do things with a clear conscience. And we were partying because we were delivering to the Zambian people. Because they are hypocrites. And I can also tell you, I can tell you that Kuyabaya, when they go out, they must not teach you that they are using their own money. They are using Zambia's money. That's all. This is a government of dealers. Finish. And a government of hypocrites. And for me, I call them high hypocrites. H H, high hypocrites. <laughs> one Zambia. One nation. One Zambia. One nation. Umuntu kwa sasa ina 150 million dollars in United States of America. 150 million dollars. And yet you are losing a lot of money from a mine. You exchange 150 million dollars. Whatever IMF, come and give me. But meanwhile, IMF, don't give subsidies to your farmers. Don't subsidize your fuel. When you go to America, America is subsidizing farmers. The government of America is giving free money to farmers. No, a country that is starving that you don't give subsidies to farmers so that people can starve even more. One Zambia. One nation. One Zambia. One nation. Every day, my lecture. Every day. Kupanga my lecture, kuva inspirational speakers. Good governance, rule of law. What rule of law? You are arresting people against the law. You are arresting people and detaining them for 12 days, 14 days, and yet the law says 48 hours. You are arresting people in Lusaka, not but what I always like they did to him. Huh? You are arresting people in Lusaka and taking them all the way to Senanga, Sesheke, like they did to Chairman Chama. You arrest people like Mumbipiri and take them to Mongo. No trial for nine months. And you're saying rule of law. You have a task. You have a big job. This job is not for the 
faint-hearted. This job is for strong women and strong men. But I also want to tell you that for as long as we stand together, Haga Inde, this man was saying three and a half years, Haga Inde can even stop tomorrow. One Zambia, one Zambia, one nation, the land of Kratik can even stop tomorrow. Look at his friend. Look at his friend. Maybe these are my friends. They are my friends. In good times and in bad times. Because we are sincere with each other. But when you see that people bambo kupatika, bambo kutmako, ukukutaluka, you should know that there's something wrong. First, go to another ah, Nivachilamba, who is wrong because he has left. But next, 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 then you should also know it is me who is wrong. Any of our Pangire or Sida, he have a Bishop Mpundu, Archbishop Mpundu. You remember? The rest from Mpundu? We told them, we said, that organization is not sincere. That organization, some of the members in that organization have joined that organization because they are politicians, they want to fight Ed Galunga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said, no, it's a civil, civic education, civil society organization. What has happened today? What has happened? They are splitting. Mm -hmm. When Niteles Kompundu said, what I was against, when we formed Ochida, it's happening even more now. Therefore, Anande, at you, we'll end up with you. One Zambia, if it is true that all the members of Ochida were genuine, they were sincere, they were against what PF was doing, why is it that now they are not against what Teles from Pundu has seen to be wrong in UPND? Why? It is clear that people, even those who are supporting Haga Inde, have come to realize that Wafman are zero. They are regretting having supported. And I can assure you that more and more people will regret. Some of his friends, Van Nelson Musoni, you heard what he said. Nelson Musoni also said, Yo, na Papa Sana, we didn't expect this. <laughs> And more and more people will stand up and say, this is not what we expect. Not everything that glitters is gold. That's the lesson that God wants you to learn. Pantunayan yeah. Alesa, he has his way of making sure that there is a good leadership in the country. He has given us this period for us to see. Ukutira Kanshi, this is the devil. Actually the angel. Mm -hmm. The one who was coming to us and pretending to be an angel is actually the devil. Mm -hmm. The Patriotic Front is a political party. <laughs> but a political party not just for the sake of being a political party. Had it been that this is just for being a political party, I would not be wasting my time. I would not be wasting my time. We are a political party because we are working for the poor Zambians out there. Yes. I want to encourage all of you to rekindle Ayama Nova Kweteva Sata for working for the poor of Zambia. Let's work for the poor Zambia. This party is not for the rich. This party is for the poor. The voiceless out there are looking up to you. Now as we speak, Panotuli, Ama farmers, they are looking to you. They are asking the PF Murikui, talk for us. Those small saloon operators, they are looking to you, the PF Murikui, speak for us. 
they are all saying, come and save us. What you are carrying on your shoulders is not for tomorrow. What you are carrying on your shoulders is for the future of this country. But I'm able to say there is free education. Now you can talk to them, hey, free education. Go, Mama, class, go and see how the children are sitting in classroom. Before this so called free education, you are only paying 200 kwacha per term as PTA fees. But you are able to take the children to school because transport costs were low. Abana, they could read because there was electricity. Now, Abana, to go to school, you have to pay three times what you are paying in 2020, 2021 at the free education. What kind of free education are you when they come home? But because you can't afford a bag of minimum. Of what use is free education? Because Mulea Bombele Chalo, I want to appeal to you. What chairman, constituency chairman, that position you are holding is not yours. The position I'm holding as acting president is not mine. It is for the people out there. For the Zambians out there. That means whenever I conduct myself, I must conduct myself in a manner that brings those people to appreciate that the PF is working for us. If you are clear, no, in the Phantom constituency chairman, everybody must come and dance around me. If you are Piakale, leave it behind. Mm. Now I would like to see that all of us are providing servant leadership. Mm. If you want to lead, Christ taught you already. If you want to be a leader among your friends, first be yes, a servant. Yes. If you don't want to be a servant, you cannot lead. Mm -hmm. And consider these positions as temporary positions. They are not permanent. I could have also wanted to aspire as president of this party. And have all the credentials to be president of this party. But I also yeah, thought, you have an there is always time to think. Let others go and we shall watch and support. Because if all of us stand there for district chairman, everybody wants to be provincial chairman, everybody wants to be president to a large percentage. And once this is gone, the Zambians will not forgive us. I don't want to go to my grave as having contributed to the demise of the Satoshi. I want to be remembered as one of those who held this party together. And I want to appeal to all of you, wherever you are, what we need in this party is unity. I have heard some people going around campaigning. But I'm campaign, instead of selling themselves, this is what I'll do. They go and say, you know, in a mapera, Some people even go to say, Rubinda and Chirangwa have sold the party. So we must quickly have a conference of Mepo before they sell the party. Is that being fair? No. Are you sure that the people you are telling that will have respect for you? No. Those of you, and I know, and I'm saying this very openly, those of you who have made yourselves campaigners and being sponsored by candidates, please, as you go out campaigning, you must know one thing in mind. This party is for people outside the party, more than the people inside the party. Yeah. Don't destroy it for them. The founder of this party is no longer. The first vice president of this party is no longer in the party. The first chairman of this party is no longer in the party. There is succession. The party must go on and on. Don't destroy. Instead, let us build. Let us build. And therefore, in the last Central Committee meeting, I called all the candidates, all of them, 
he was there. And somebody asked, I want to can they start campaigning? And I said, no. I said, don't start campaigning. Why? Because if you want to campaign, you have a part to Mupira, you must have rules. We must have rules, we must agree. Are these people when they start campaigning to Akura Watwala district by district as a group? Or we tell them to go parade? We have to agree. You can't just allow it. No. So the campaign has not officially started. We shall launch the campaign. There is a team or to Apanga, that team shall look at the rules of engagement. How will people engage themselves? <coughs> that man here, that one, I told you he came here, one, because he's a member of Central Committee. Number two, because this man invited all aspiring candidates. We said, he said, it's what you come and listen to what we shall say. You are campaigning for one person. I'm sure if you are here at Tishimba, they will say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, at Chimba now is the, is the one they are campaigning for. We didn't stop anybody. Either when he spoke, in that room, I have said, sit down. I would have told him to sit down. But this is not a meeting for people to campaign who have not yet started. And I don't think any one of you will say he came to our meeting and campaign. No. He spoke as a member of the Central Committee, Chapwa. Another thing I'd like to talk about is that, please, Vanet, please, this party only has four official spokespersons. Four. Number one spokesperson of this party is the acting president. I'm the only one who can stand up and say, I'm speaking on behalf of the party. Number two spokesperson is this man. And for him to speak, he asks me. Number three is this man. Binocular. <laughs> and even him, before he speaks, he asks me. And if you ask these people, when they ask me, I also ask them. Even before I speak, I also ask them, Vane, I want to say this, do you clear me? Because for me, we are a team. Number four is his deputy, Emmanuel Mwanga. And sometimes we tell that man here, Antonio Mwanga, we say, go and speak. One Zambia, so in Amaisa, who are not the four of us, Speaking, don't take it as a policy matter. Mm -hmm. Just say nothing for another land. How can a person who is a member of the party go and say, I have come to you, chief, I'm representing PM? Mm -hmm. Who gave you the authority? Mm -hmm. Those who are doing that, stop. <laughs> Provincial chairman, don't allow that. In the central province, the chief organizer, the chief leader in the province is the provincial chairman. Even me, as acting president, I cannot come to Kawend at the meeting without the knowledge. Even when I was coming to Chiriro, I called him, I said, Chairman, I'm coming to your, pre your, your province, please allow me. That's how order is handled in the past. That's when you build the past. Not because me, I'm provincial youth chairman, me, I'm provincial child, chaputi, chaputi. I can just walk into it as stage and say, I've come to campaign for this one. Ah. If anyone does that, tell them to get out. Until we have come up with the rules of engagement. Let us not destroy. In trying to get a leader, we might end up giving a leader no part. Can you imagine Masalo Muntu? And then the first job he has to do is to try and bring people together because they are fighting. When will you campaign? Let us make sure that when we have the conference, we elect a person, that person just comes and sits in my chair and runs the party ahead. Yes. We mustn't look back and start seeing the face up and portal. No, it is our duty to mend those portals. It is not for me. It is not for any one of those nine. 
it is for the time. Mm -hmm. These positions are just for service. They are not for us to become rich. Mm -hmm. what, what will make me rich in PF? Because even me having this meeting, I have to go and look for money. Even to travel, I have to look for money. What will make me rich? So those who are starring, I also tell them, make sure. <laughs> if you think that uh, <laughs> there is a bank written here, <laughs> even our friends have run away. But the truth is, if we organize ourselves, Katana as a party, and we are strong and we are delivering messages on behalf of the people. I can assure you there will come a time that even villagers will come to you as district chairman and say, but district chairman, please, mm -hmm. they will come to you. Yes, thank you. People will come to you and say, but constituency chairman, the letter saka ya manche velenga, amwe muulishi kwa mbae mupange meeting. Because the people have confidence. But they can only have confidence in you if you are united. And what you say in private has a tendency of expanding. Once you say something bad about your district chairman in your meeting, you should know that that is going to be outside tomorrow. And you know that lies and bad language fly. But to bring it back together and say, Vane, I was just joking too late. The fire has spread. I'd like to appeal to you, my dear leader. The journey ahead of us is not going to be easy. Make no mistake. It is not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. But what must make sure that we are determined is knowing that you are not alone. Knowing that we are together. Knowing that when you speak, there are others who shall support you. Knowing that when trouble befalls you, there will be others who come to you. Knowing that when you are arrested for the truth, the truth will set you free and people will come and stand beside you. That is what must lead us 